Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutzarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising monthly tarot reading for November 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again that this is just a general reading for Capricorn star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore I'm going to try my best here to explain you the meanings uh, of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it falls to you at the end to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you, uh, that is a, a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about uh, the month of Capricorn for the month of November you can purchase the extended monthly tarot reading from my website um, <clears throat> which will contain additional two spreads one for career and one for relationship for the month of November for the star sign of Capricorn so uh, that set aside we do have a five card tarot spread a general one so let's see what the first card is saying that it will be the topic of your month uh, and we do have the high priestess so there won't be much of a movement throughout this month as a matter of fact uh, when we do have the high priestess this uh, card is speaking for stillness entire stillness there won't be any ups and downs into your career there won't be any ups and downs into your relationship status therefore there won't there are no not much things we can say just by only this card. What we can say, however, is, is that this card it is a state of the soul in which the soul is seeking what is best for it. So if you are a uh, single and uh, this card is pointing that it is highly unlikely you are to find a suitor throughout the month, all right, or someone that you will be interested to involve yourself with. But this is due to the fact that your soul is searching for your soulmate. I hate using that word, but in this rare cases, this is what the card says. Basically, searching for the, the, the person that will have the maximum synergy with, with your soul. Uh, and um, you are to spend the month extremely quietly. You are to spend the month working quietly as well and uh, being focused on one task at, ha uh, uh, at hand you know to develop for example your business to develop a certain project and uh, as I explained there won't be any ups and downs there won't be any predicaments really that can cause a, a severe um, deterioration of either your relationship of either your career and uh, it is very important throughout this peaceful period of time to start asking yourself questions and I'm talking about asking yourself questions all right don't try to find the answer elsewhere for example uh, you know are you happy into your relationship are you satisfied into your career why this is happening to you and it's uh, and when you start asking yourself these questions your inner voice is to answer to them and you are to find the most accurate answers to your questions that you can obtain ever not through tarot reader not through astrologer not through psychic but through your inner voice and uh, the, in the inner voice really kicks in only through silence so um, the best possible course of action the tree of cups now asking for opinion is one thing contributing in a uh, uh, in a mutual experience in a collective experience is another so this card asks you to basically enjoy yourself this card is, is saying to you that you need to aim to spend as much time as possible with friends with basically people who are making you feel uh, joyful who are um, exerting glee into your environment and who are who are to help you to expand your vision but not through conversations but through experiences and this is how the inner voice of yours is going is going to start kicking in on a more practical level this card is a sign that your efforts are going to start showing results or they're going to start showing remnants of results it is very early here 
to talk about huge dividends of your uh, of your performance but you are to start you are to start seeing that your your performance is not in vain it is not futile and with um, with enough devotion you are to reach the point that you want for yourself which is additional reason here to uh, spend the month quietly and to focus on the task at hand uh, the three of cups um, <clears throat> advise you also to share emotions in the sense of that if you are feeling uh, if you are feeling lonely talk about it with uh, your friends if you are feeling like crying Cry in front of them, you know, if you're feeling happy, share your happiness with them. Uh, because this is a very key, um, a kind of like a, a very key condition, so you can sprawl your, uh, your vision. And uh, the next card, it is showing up the challenges which are causing predicaments. And this is going to be the Four of Pentacles. And that is the comfort zone itself. That is the, the rock solid position that you do have at this very moment. Which may deprive you from expanding your vision should you not be open minded enough. So we do have a little bit of a controversy here in between these couple of cards and I do believe the two Capricorns are going to walk on a very thin edge and a thin edge in between the one or the other extreme. In, from one hand we do have where you need to uh, very quietly work on the task at hand, you know, and being and having a clamorous belief for your future. On the other hand, you are going to be prone to stay to stay in your comfort zone, not wanting to see outside of the bubble, outside of uh, outside of your shell. And <clears throat> this is where the Three of Cups plays a, a huge, huge role. So you have to attend to those um, commutative experiences, these um, um, cooperations. All right. So you can see that there is a, a different side of life. So you can see that there is different approach to one situation. And again, uh, you have to realize it for yourself. You need to explain it to yourself, but you got to explain it to yourself. You should not search for an explanation elsewhere, but your inner wisdom. <clears throat> The Four of Pentacles may point also another thing, is that if you are start making a lot of money here throughout the month, uh, you have to start sharing those money, not with with no, no with uh, people that you don't know, etc., uh, etc. Et but you got to start investing those money into a standard of living. Uh, if you have a relationship, start investing those money into your partner as well, or into your family, because this card has that downside pointing that if you focus on money and money alone and you start conserving those money, these money are going to start creating a lonely and empty existence uh, if you don't share them with something or with someone. So if you do have money here, there are more than enough. I mean, uh, try to find a way to basically share them with something or with someone. This is the advice of this specific card. The next one is going to be the uh, re the resources that you can capitalize on. And this is the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is, uh, in that specific case, is capability to align yourself according to the situation. So what we do have is focusing yourself on the task at hand, being very quiet, and everything around you is going to be very peaceful into your career and into your relationship. And you can use that peaceful time, you know, basically to uh, reshape it, to rearrange it to make it comfortable for you because the nine of wands is the conscious changes that you can incorporate or you can um, you can initiate excuse me into your environment into your career into your relationship also this card is a resource of patience and is a resource of waiting like a, a lion in the savanna it is preying on on the gazelle for example you know carefully waiting and waiting and waiting for the right moment to come and it is exactly when it strikes so it, it has the maximum um, the maximum chances basically to catch up their prey uh, so the nine of wands in that specific case speaks for endurance endurance through patience and knowing when one needs to act 
and uh, in your specific case here Capricorn this time is not going to be throughout the month but your conviction that that time is going to come is going to be a result a resource excuse me that you can capitalize on which entirely is going to deprive you from being uh, from having hectic wavering immature behavior um, <clears throat> frantic performance and premature decisions uh, the last card it is the uh, final outcome of the month and we do have the four of uh, swords so we are continuing with uh, with the peacefulness here but the four of swords is very different peacefulness from the high priestess this card in a contribution to the three of cups points that you already will have your answers so you will be completely aware through this process what your soul needs but also how you are going to achieve it so this card here points that you are to return to the world very aware and very determined as well that everything is going to be all right you are to prevail and you know what needs to be done in order to do so and that's why you are going to reclaim you know your calmness your resignation you are going to reclaim your confidence you are going to reclaim your vital energy as well you are going to reclaim your health mental or physical or emotional etc etc basically you are to become a, a very happy person because happiness is nothing more but one feeling themselves comfortable into their skin <clears throat> and this is what happens to you capricorn as a result of the month of november so that being said capricorns this was your monthly tarot reading for um, november 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and um, <clears throat> again this was a, a general reading for Capricorn star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And if you find these reports helpful, you can uh, purchase the extended monthly tower reading for the star sign of Capricorns. Which, uh, in which video we are to focus on a couple of spreads, one for career specifically and one for relationship for Capricorns. That being said, Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.